Tom Callahan with us now, the Chief Executive Officer of the TBA. I'm sure it must be very hard for you to find the words to express just exactly what a relief and what a joy it is to be part of something so spectacular that has transpired in the last 48 hours. Oh, geez, Andrew, it's been, a, been an amazing uh, couple of hours for, for us as a business and for breeders. We had a really strong sale yesterday. Um, the market is very tough. The economy, we're feeling the pinches in the low and middle end of the market, but the top end really did perform. And you know, the, the saying quality begets quality, it was so evident last night at the sale where quality horses went for quality money. Our averages are up around 25%, so we're in line with the international standards, and that's a big feather in the cap for South African livestock industry. Our medium price was up, which is a real strong indicator. We're up 47% to about 220,000 Rand, which is, I think, the right price for an average thoroughbred racehorse in, in South Africa at the moment. So yes, we are we're very pleased with our performance. We're very pleased with some of the breeders and some of the new season stallions or second season stallions that performed incredibly well yesterday. Now obviously when you look at a movie like The, the Life and Times of Secretariat, you, you hear about the romance of the turf. Today it's all unfolding. One of the most remarkable stories is about the winner of the SA Phillies Nursery, a filly that was bought for 10,000 Rand, paid off with a guy that had a budget of 3,000 Rand. Isn't that remarkable? And, and trained by a small trainer who yes. some people don't even know who he was. And uh, congratulations to all the connections. David, I actually spoke to him yesterday at the sales. And, you know, quite unassuming man. And uh, it's the romance and it's the fairy tale come true by an unfashionable stallion, you know, a throwaway stallion. And, and she taught them all a lesson. And, and you know, then continued by Stanley Ferreira, another small trainer, winning with full sisters by Cajal uh, from a small little stud in the Midlands, Chell Foundation. It truly is... This is, a, this is a romance like, like none other. And then of course the big daddy, the horse that is so widely expected to be the heir apparent and successor to his great sire, Western Winter. He has just won one of the most scintillating computer form sprints sponsored by Bet Exchange. Andrew, uh, what a horse. Uh, what an absolute horse. You know, Vav was well represented represent in the race, ended up running you know, two out of the four top places. But what a winter. It was just class, uh, head and shoulders above. His kick at the end, uh, standing next to the rail is my favorite place. And it, uh, it really does put you on a buzz like nothing I've ever experienced before. You're learning from Brian Joffe. Absolutely. I didn't jump on anyone. And, and unfortunately, I wasn't involved in the lead-in of about 100 shareholders. But this is so great for the sport. We have champions of our turf heading to stud. And, you know, he's got all the credentials and all the, you know, the, the attributes of a stallion. And we wish them all the best. Well, I hope that there's some more magic that unfolds during the course of the afternoon. And we are now awaiting the arrival of the heir apparent for the queen of the turf. Of course, Cherry on the top and her half-sister who runs later. But Tom, just give us those critical, vital statistics for the national yearling sale sponsored by Empress Palace and Bloodstock South Africa this year. Andrew, overall we are up 13 million uh, rand and 25% up overall. Average price is up to 320,000, which is up 37%, and our median is up to 220,000, which is up 47%, which is truly remarkable in these, you know, in these economic times. And you know, on Sunday, which is tomorrow, we look forward to a strong sale, but still good value for buyers who come and do their research. So we encourage people to come down to the, the sales complex tomorrow, and we're sure to have a great day of, uh, of selling racehorses. To put the lid in it, the uh, medicine hat. What happened over there, and what happened with a horse that kept on going back to his daddy's grave? Wow, what, a, what an amazing uh, story. Yurubamba. Um, oh, sorry, Master Spirit out of Yurubamba. I called him Yurubamba. It's his, it's his dam. He was just a stunning colt. And, you know, the main bloodstock experts such as Jahan Maherba, Kanamea, Dukok all thought as much. And in the end, Mike Dukok bought it for 3.4 million in some spirited bidding. And it truly was a moment where I think everyone felt this is something special about this horse and very different. And we will see him here in the winner's enclosure and we will see him doing great things. I have no doubt. And Grand uh, Blanco, was that a sentimental buy or was it a buy based on his pedigree, which he certainly had? Des Edgar seemed to see something in him from a confirmation perspective. He thinks it needs a lot of time, the horse. But he also likes the, peri the, 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 the cross, you know, the Northern Dancer Machiavellian cross out of a dam called Perakeen by Rakeen. So he loves the horse. And, you know, it's gone to a great home, passionate owners. Uh, and you never know, Andrew. I, I just hope that they, they remember to race it under lights because he... Uh, he is very uh, white for a Mexican hat. So you managed to escape leading him around in your underpants? Absolutely. That was a bet I was very happy to lose. <laughs> <laughs>